Hi, I'm Dave here at Core Electronics, and in this quick video, I'm going to show you how to install Python on the Onion Omega 2. The first step is to connect to the Onion Omega using SSH. If you're using Mac or Linux, you already have everything you need. Just open up Terminal and run SSH. If you're using Windows, you'll need to download and install PuTTY. You can connect to your board, making sure that both your PC and the Onion Omega are on the same Wi-Fi network with this address. Check SSH and make sure port says 22. All right. It asks us for our login. We'll log in as root. And the default password is onion ear. First thing we need to do is an OPKG update take the installer files. Now we can install Python, but we do have a couple of choices. There's two different versions of Python, Python 2.7, which is just normally known as Python, and Python 3. I'm not going to go into which one's better here. There's plenty of information on that all over the internet, uh, but I'll be using Python 2. However, there's another choice, whether we use Python or Python Lite. Python Lite is pretty much exactly the same, but most of the extra modules and packages aren't installed by default. Uh, on the Onion Omega 2, there's pretty limited space, so there is an argument for using Python Lite. Uh, but since I'm not doing anything super complicated with this board, I'm going to just go ahead and install the full Python 2. Install command is opkg install Python. If you wanted to do Python, you'd say OPKG install Python 3. Okay, now Python's finished installing. Before we move on, we should also cover how to install uh, extra modules and packages, which if you're program with, programming with Python, at some point you will need. We can install some uh, modules and packages using OPKG, uh, and we can list the ones available with this command, OPKG list pipe rep python right a lot of word salad there but it is a full list of all the python modules available through through OP, opkg if you wanted to see just the module specific to python 3 you can run this command it's the same one before but python 3 instead of python and there's a list of the modules uh, available for Python 3. To show you how to install a module, I'll do RPKG install, and I'm going to install pi onion gpio. Take note of the case there. This is the module that lets us control the Omega's GPIO pins with our Python program. Uh, most users are probably going to want this module at some point, so I'm going to install it now. Okay, and that's completely installed. A more robust method for installing modules is to use a program called PIP. PIP is like another package manager, except it's exclusively for Python modules and packages. To install a module using PIP, use the following command. It's PIP, install, and then the module name. I'm going to install the simple math module. And there's the simple math module installed very easily. If you run into a certain error uh, when trying to install a module using pip, and you can see that error on the web page of this tutorial, you may need to run the following command. pip install double dash upgrade setup tools. And that's how you install modules using pip. The last thing we're going to do in this video is write a simple Hello World program to test that Python's working correctly. We'll need a text editor for this. Uh, the Omega does include VI, but I find it very user unfriendly. Uh, so I'm going to install the editor Nano with OPKG install Nano. Okay, now that's installed. Let's create a directory to put our Python program in. I'm going to put it in root, 
slash python. Let's change into that directory. It should be empty. Excellent. Now we can create a new Python file with nano hello world dot hi. And it's open now here. First thing I'll do is add a comment to let us know what this program does. And we need our one command, which is print, single quotation mark, the world for electronics. And close the single quotes. Press Control X to exit. It's asking down the bottom if we want to save the modified buffer. Type Y for yes and enter to use the name we opened the file with. Now to run the program, I just type Python and then the file name. And there we are. Hello world from Core Electronics. So that's how you set up and get started with Python on your Onion Omega 2. If you have any questions or issues, as always, don't hesitate to leave a comment or head over to our forum.